Hey guys, my name is Pawan Gar and I'm working with Soflan Technology as a software developer. Developer. Today we are discussing about Laravel and its provided security. So first question is what is Laravel? So Laravel is basically a PHP framework which will provide a many security methods like including storing your password, authenticating user, SQL injection protection and protecting against XSS CSRF attacks. These are the common security methods which will provide by the Laravel. Here are the checklist for all of those which will provide by the Laravel like code injection, weak login implementation, software packages and preventing CSRF also DOS attacks. The first thing is code injection. So what is code injection and how Laravel protecting you against code injection? There have two type of code injections like SQL injection and XSS attacks. The first one is SQL injection. In plain PHP, we need to bind all the parameter on SQL query. But in Laravel, there have the eloquent QRM and query builder where you need not to worry about it. Laravel already done than it, the SQL injection protection for uh, for us. You have to use the model instance with the provided method and you have to pass all your columns under the model with protecting method with variable name fillable or either guard where you will mention all your column name like here for example, I have mentioned name, emails, password, role ID for our create user property. So if any of the requests come with the lot of data, then this request only store name, email, password and role ID. Rest of it will escape for us. Then the second one is XSS attacks. XSS attacks is basically divided into two parts. Like for first one is restrict special attacks in the server. You could use a different approach, but PHP natively have some methods like strip tags that only protect against HTML and PHP tags. Then come to the Laravel side, then they provide a blade engine support, blade, blade engine support which will protect you against the XSS, XSS attacks. You need not to worry. You just have to use the sent, their provided syntax with double mustache syntax and it will protect you against XSS attacks automatically by skipping the tags for you. Then our second point is the request origin, as you know, or as you are aware of that your application have get the data from different different sources, like for multiple sites, webhook, a mobile application or JavaScript framework application. Maybe in that case, some unknown origin could be try to authenticate your request or try to send the request to your web application. In that case, Lara will provide the middleware called Throttle which will authenticate the user number of requests per minute how how they can how they can perform like for example here i have mentioned you can pass three requests in next 10 minutes and if request is exceed then browser shows the status code 429 at the browser end there have also one service provider called rate limit which will doing the same thing those all things manage you have to deal in the your web.php file under the route section where you just have to pass the middleware or either you can use a rate limit service provider for the rest of your entire application. Then the second thing is exposing a file. By default, Laravel only expose the public directory. This is intent to avoid the security breaches considering that any file that will be exposed can be accessed by anyone. You should avoid adding their sensitive data. If you want to expose file to download, the best way is to do this is by keeping the files on the storage directory. For that, you just need not to worry for that. You have to just generate the symbolic link for the public directory. And here Laravel provide a command line support with the artisan CLI, which will generate a symbolic link for you. You just have to type the PHP artisan storage and colon with link and it will generate a symbolic link so you can expose file to download. Then our next topic is weak login implementation. In each and every application, there have must login implementation like for register user, registering a user, forgetting the password of the user and basically user login. But in Laravel, for dealing with these all things, Laravel provide a list of the packages and support 
where you can directly install those packages as per your needs and you can use those packages. Here I have listed the few of the packages which will help you to implement the login. And as per your needs, you can go with then the right configuration for your environment. You can manage all the configuration of your web application at once, which you will find it under the root of the, your project directory called .env file, where you will mention all your data like SMTP details or sending the emails or database related configuration you can mention there or other details like app key, app environment or app debugger mode. You have to just make sure you are in the local server or you are in the production or development. As per your needs, you need to update those configuration details in your ENV. Then the, our next topic is software packages and updates. And by the way, by the time you project, uh, project dependis, dependis, dependencies get updated, you must have to update those packages which are use, using your application. For this, Laravel provide a support from dependency manager called Composer or NPM. By using their command, you can update your single packages or entire your web application related packages at once. You need not to worry for any command or any manual package installation. You just have to type Composer or NPM with update or install command with the package name and Laravel Man, uh, manage the dependency manager and then it will automatically install or update your packages then password and their attacks for this any password which will be storing in our database or any data which will be storing in the mysql side laravel provide a encryption and decryption technique also the has method the has method is useful for encrypting your password so that no one knows your password and for encryption decryption laravel provide a tech, uh, methods which will help you to encrypt your data and storing those encrypted data in the database so no one can access your data then our next topic is preventing csrf attacks laravel api security also goes to the extra milestone mechanism to pre protect you against csrf attacks so basically CSRF attacks is what CSRF attacks goes with the web browser side. Like if I'm going with the example, so somehow the form data will come uh, in the uh, form data come into your web application backend side. But how you will identify that those data will be coming from your web application in these attacks, some of the uh, other sites will generate same amount or same looks like of the web page and sending the data or accessing your data uh, through their uh, web pages. But for Laravel side, they will provide a CSRF token which will generate uniquely token for us. And this token will generate for each and every request. So the Laravel side will only known by this token and then they will identify those tokens only and if you have to somehow bypass those form data requests then you can do it by simply go to the middleware called verify csrf token where you can es escape those requests by bypassing onto there thank you for watching my video 